a feature-to-feature -feature product comparison between the four-door, four-wheel drive models of the 1995 Ford Explorer, the carryover Jeep Grand Cherokee, and the new Chevy Blazer. We'll organize our comparison into four areas, ride and handling, comfort and convenience, safety and security, and value. We'll tell you the facts and show you how to demonstrate key Explorer advantages. Before viewing this program, take time to refresh your knowledge of Explorer features and benefits by reviewing the 1995 Explorer product video and the 1995 Explorer product and marketing guide. Let's begin our comparison with the Explorer XLT with PEP 945A versus the Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo with PEP 26F. Let's begin with a look at the effect size has on a vehicle's ride and handling. The Jeep is wider than the Explorer, but the difference is only about this much. But Explorer's about this much taller than Grand Cherokee for a better overall view of the road, especially in city traffic. And Explorer has a longer wheelbase about five and a half inches longer than the Jeep, which provides a smoother ride with less tendency to hobby horse. Explorer also offers precise rack and pinion steering with no wandering in the steering wheel, like you may get with Grand Cherokee's recirculating ball technology. Another Explorer advantage over Grand Cherokee and other competitive four-wheel drive vehicles is Explorer's control track system. This is an automatic four-wheel drive system that transfers torque to the front drive axle to match external conditions. Its dash-mounted control dial features three settings. The traditional two-wheel drive setting sends torque to the rear wheels only for optimal fuel economy during normal everyday driving. Four-wheel drive low provides continual four-wheel drive action and torque-rich low gear ratios for off-road use, climbing steep grades, or traveling in heavy snow or sand. The auto four-wheel drive setting is a set and forget mode that puts four-wheel drive on standby, ready to quickly deliver torque to the front wheels whenever slippage occurs. In this mode, Explorer's advanced onboard computer monitors and assesses traction requirements 50 times a second. It interprets any difference in speed between the rear and front axles as loss of traction and activates four-wheel drive within a quarter of a second. When full traction is regained, the system automatically places the front axle into standby mode, shifting the majority of torque to the rear axle, contributing to reduced driveline wear and improved overall fuel efficiency. Drivers will appreciate how control track makes the decision for them and eliminates the need to manually engage four-wheel drive. In contrast, Jeep makes buyers choose from three four-wheel drive systems. Command track is a part-time system for use off-highway or on slippery road surfaces. Select track is a full-time four-wheel drive system for use on or off-road. QuadraTrack is Jeep's best system. This is an all-the-time system, meaning it operates in four-wheel drive all the time. The important difference between the two systems is that Control Track uses electronic sensors to actively monitor wheel slip. While it can engage four-wheel drive in a fraction of a second, it permits operation in fuel-saving, wear-reducing two-wheel drive at other times. QuadraTrack employs a viscous coupler that senses differences in traction between the axles and progressively locks the center differential, thus transmitting the most torque to the axle with the greatest traction. Of course, serious four-wheelers may ask, how Explorer's horsepower and torque compare to Grand Cherokee's? You can explain that Explorer's electronically fuel-injected V6 with standard manual transmission hits peak torque at a lower RPM than Grand Cherokee's inline six. What's more, Grand Cherokee offers only an automatic transmission. That's right, a manual transmission is not available. Explorer offers both. Jeep does offer an optional V8 engine. If a buyer insists on an eight, explain that Explorer's six puts less weight on the front axle for easier handling and that in some cases it delivers better fuel economy. 
And the towing advantage customers get with Jeep's V8 comes at a cost. Jeep publishes a maximum loaded trailer weight of 6,500 pounds for a Grand Cherokee with a V8. But in order for Cherokee to gross out, buyers must pay for more than the V8 engine. Properly equipped, the Explorer 4x2 can tow up to 5,300 pounds. The 4x4 Explorer's maximum loaded trailer weight is 5,000 pounds. And consider the fact that all Explorer models come equipped with a 3,500 pound rear bumper. 95% of all Explorer customers tow less than 3,500 pounds. And this bumper is ready for light to medium duty towing. Even the hole is standard. All you buy is the ball. Now let's move inside the vehicle for a look at comfort and convenience. First, Explore gets the nod for ease of entry and egress in the front and especially in the rear. Second, Explorer provides outstanding ergonomic backlit switches. Explorer has big, bright analog gauges and climate and audio system controls you can operate while wearing gloves. In the front, Explorer provides increased forward seat travel for shorter drivers and more legroom than Grand Cherokee with the seat moved all the way back. And it does so without asking backseat passengers to sacrifice comfort. Of course, many sport utility shoppers want to know about stowage space. Rear seat up or down, Explorer has more room than Grand Cherokee. Access to the cargo space is important too. And this flip up backlight is standard on all Explorers. This feature is not available on the Grand Cherokee Laredo. Jeep offers it only on the Limited. And finally, let's consider model availability. Explorer offers two and four door body styles in six distinct series. These come complete with a long list of standard features and value priced option packages. Cherokee limits choices to one four door body style and four trim levels. To get a two door model, Jeep buyers have to drop down to the lower level Cherokee models. And nothing Jeep offers matches the new Explorer Expedition. A third major consideration for sport utility shoppers is safety and security. And Explorer has airbags to supplement the safety belts for both the driver and right front passenger. Jeep only has the driver's side airbag. In summary, Explorer represents an excellent value to customers. When it comes to price, Explorer is clearly the better deal. When you compare MSRPs of an Explorer XLT with PEP 945A and a Jeep Grand Cherokee with PEP 26F, you can see that Jeep costs about $1,500 more. Of course, value goes beyond price. Explorer is the segment leader with the most advanced functional features like control track and rack and pinion steering, a first for its segment. Explorer also has the stronger comfort and convenience story with more room for both people and gear, plus standard features that aren't available on any Jeep Grand Cherokee. Explorer also has dual front airbags and a gas ionized rear warning light. The Explorer Advantage story is even more compelling against the 1995 Chevy Blazer. Let's compare the Explorer XLT with PEP 945A to the Blazer LS with PEP 1S DX. No longer called the S10 Blazer, the 1995 Chevy Blazer has been reskinned outside and refined on the inside. Let's begin our discussion with ride and handling. One question you may hear from Chevy shoppers concerns Blazer suspension packages. Blazer offers four packages described as smooth, touring, off-road, and premium. The suspension that offers a smooth ride is standard on both two-door and four-door Blazers with either a two- or four-wheel drive. Explorer's new standard SLA suspension was driven by customer expectations for a compact utility vehicle with more car-like ride and handling. 
It delivers improved comfort without compromising ruggedness. It meets the needs of the vast majority of customers for sport utility on and off-road applications, including light to medium duty trailering. For those sport utility shoppers who demand optimum on and off-road performance, Demonstrate Explorer's automatic ride control system. The sophisticated system is only available on Explorer Limited 4x4. ARC automatically selects the best vehicle height and suspension stiffness for the driving conditions. Plus, Explorer has power-assisted rack and pinion steering, which is more precise than Chevy's recirculating ball technology. Now let's factor in powertrain and performance. Chevy's V6 produces 195 horsepower compared to Explorer's 160, but Explorer hits maximum torque at a lower RPM. And when you compare towing capacity, Chevy only manages a 200-pound advantage in two-wheel drive. This translates to one average adult. In four-wheel drive, it's a wash. Explorer offers customers some other advantages they may not even know to ask about. For instance, only Explorer provides platinum tip spark plugs and 100,000 mile tune-up intervals. Blazer's four-wheel drive system, called InstaTrack, breaks no new technological ground. It's a carryover system from the previous generation Blazer. It does allow you to shift from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive and vice versa while moving. However, once it's in four-wheel drive, there's no sophisticated transfer of torque. Blazer buyers simply get two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Not the best of both worlds, like they get with the Explorer's control track. Blazer will offer a full-time four-wheel drive system beginning in mid-summer. It will be available only on the four-door LT as an added cost option. Now let's look inside for a comparison of these vehicles' comfort and convenience features. Both Ford and Chevy offer two-door and four-door models in both two-wheel and four-wheel drive configurations. The difference is Chevy offers only three distinct trim levels, while Explorer offers six. And no matter what the trim level, you can't get a six-way power passenger seat with lumbar support in Blazer. Blazer customers do get one thing Explorer customers don't. This annoying bump that intrudes into the front passenger footwell. It compromises comfort and footroom, not to mention that it doesn't leave enough flat floor space for a cake carry or a large briefcase. Blazer has other features that compromise ease of entry and egress from the vehicle. Notice how awkward the wheel well placement is. How you have to lift your leg over the seat cushion to get into the back seat. And backseat passengers in the Blazer take a hit in legroom compared to Explorer. Plus, the reclining rear seat backs with folding head restraints that are standard on all Explorer models aren't available on any Blazer. Now let's look at cargo space, an important consideration for any sport utility buyer. Blazer's hatch is split, so heavy items either have to be lifted over the tailgate or lift it onto the tailgate and pushed in from there. This can be quite awkward. In contrast, Explorer's hatch flips up and out of the way, and the lift struts are tucked away for a neat, clean appearance. And the four-door Explorer with the rear seats down provides seven cubic feet of additional stowage space, enough extra room for all of this. With the rear seats up, the difference is even more startling. 42.6 cubic feet for Explorer versus 16.1 cubic feet for Blazer. That means with the rear seats up, Explorer has 164% more cargo capacity than Blazer. There's another compelling story to tell when it comes to safety and security. Explorer has airbags to supplement the safety belts for both the driver and right front passenger. Blazer has only a driver's side airbag. Explorer also has four-wheel disc brakes with ABS, compared to Blazer's front disc rear drum setup with ABS. 
Disc brakes improve stopping performance due to better resistance to brake fade. In summary, Explorer is the segment leader with the most advanced functional features, including the segment first rack and pinion steering system and control track 4x4 technology. Explorer also has the stronger comfort and convenience story with more room for both people and gear, plus standard features that aren't available on any Blazer. Explorer offers dual front airbags and four-wheel disc brakes. This is a lot of value for the money when you consider that the Explorer XLT 4x4 with PEP 945A costs only about $1,400 more than a similarly equipped Chevy Blazer with PEP 1S DX. That's not much additional money to pay for a vehicle that delivers a smoother ride, control track four-wheel drive, and outstanding comfort and convenience. Bottom line, neither Jeep Grand Cherokee nor Chevy Blazer can match up to Ford Explorer. Explorer offers significant improvements in all areas sports utility vehicle buyers say are important to them. Your challenge is to demonstrate the excellent value Explorer represents to all shoppers. To succeed, study the competition, understand the Explorer's advantages, and always take prospects on a carefully planned test drive. This will make you a better consultant to your customers and take you a long way toward fulfilling Ford sales standards, especially standards numbers two and three. The 95 Ford Explorer. It's a strong bet to extend Explorer's reign as the sales leader when it comes to all-around compact sport utility vehicles.